just done some of my irrigation water holders. That's why the floating jars are there. Just lit up this candle in here because it's quite good for chilling out and meditating. I'm pretty sure it's gonna burn because you're getting quite a lot of heat here. Hi guys, just an update on, uh, for one, the hydration system working there. I've also just used these shelving brackets to some good use by attaching some string here, as you can see on my finger, uh, all the way down to this bookend. And it just helps weave this plant, plant in. Um, today what I've also done is basically as I was saying in one of the last videos attaching a little fish fishing weight to the end of this um, uh, lead which sucks up the water and I'll just cut off that string and then as you can see when it goes into that jar, it just weighs it down. Weighs it down to the bottom of there. And over time, basically, that straightens out. Um, as you can see with this one, it's a little bit more straight there. The more tension you can get on it, the better. And I just find that the, the weights help with that. So another quick video here of um, what, how exactly I did it because I didn't explain it. So as you can see the fishing weights have a little hole in them and the drip wire as you can see just looks like this. This white bit here is trying to be the weight I think but it's not that efficient. So I literally just use a little bit of thread, tie a double knot in there, throw it into here. And with that jar, I'm actually going to be feeding two plants with that for now. So, yeah, just a little add-on to that video. Okay, um, there's a little pink thing growing at the bottom of my cast iron. And I actually just tried to dig it up a little bit, but realised that it's part of the plant. So I'm feeling quite bad now, because one of those leaves I just grabbed off by accident. I thought it might have been a weed growing in there, but... Apparently it's part of the plant. 